Hey guys, it's been a while. Check out my hair games. Ooh, oh, let's put it somewhere else for me. Probably just yesterday since I first started taking finasteride. I had to update my progress on keeps and it's been approximately a year since I've been prescribed finasteride. Though I really didn't start till four months ago. I recently got a new exhaust for my car and has been on jack stands for almost a week. A nut was rusted shut on the downpipe the turbo bolt and I've spent hundreds on tools. I spent every day just trying all sorts of different ways to try and fix this. Progress is slow, but I revisit the problem every single day and take a little bit of action. It's just like hair loss prevention. I have been mic needling and I've gotten a little sloppy with minoxidil and the scalp massages, but I'm still popping a fan every other day and I'm still wearing the helmet and I'm still taking vitamins and I'm still generally looking up for my hair health. So here's my keeps progress photo and I'm not gonna lie, the progress photo made me a bit excited. Sometimes it feels like I haven't made progress because of the front and top area of my scalp. It wasn't super thin at first, but hair loss got kind of aggressive and it is still thin and I'm still shedding, but it seems to have thickened up a little bit. <laughs> the photo was on a, a webcam on my MacBook Pro, which is a 720p a webcam resolution and the old photo was taken with this pixel 2 smartphone uh, i don't think it's exactly a fair comparison but it does look good i think or at least better and fortunately for you guys you have the 4k camera and i try and keep the production quality pretty good so hopefully you guys get a really good idea and sense of my hair loss Alright, so really quick, we're going to go over the frequency of my routine because truthfully, it is hard to be consistent. For instance, I say I do microneedling, but I haven't done it in a while. Maybe next update, you will see me be more consistent with it, and we can associate that consistency with hair gains. Uh, we'll start with the main focus of this video, which is finasteride, the newest thing I'm doing for my hair, and you can see me, um, you can see my every other day schedule in effect. It isn't perfect, but finasteride stays in your body long enough. It was a little scary at first, but now I don't even really think about it. Low laser light therapy, LLLT. We don't have to go over this one for long. I already expressed my feelings in this one video. That should be somewhere above around here. I still do it. It's pretty easy to stay on top of it. So you can watch the video if you want more details on that. Now, Dermapen, this is microneedling, same thing. I think my last video might have been my last time I've actually microneedled. I might have done it one more time afterwards. I forgot the date. I've just been busy and the pain makes me procrastinate. And I'm a little paranoid about doing it incorrectly. I definitely want to introduce it this again. I think it's a, a pretty good therapy. I even have the Dermator 2.0, which you may have heard um, in like the hair loss community. And I even have the original package from Europe. I think it came from Czech Republic. And then scalp massages. You can see it's definitely trending down. I originally started the massages as a non finasteride solution. Now I consider it a supplementary thing rather than my main method like I did in the past. And that's pretty much it for my routine. And of course I also use the ketoconazole shampoo, but I don't really care to track that. That's just something I do whenever I start seeing a lot of flakes in my scalp and it usually kind of clears it up and just kind of keeps it in check. And that's pretty much it for my routine. So now we can go on to the progress photos. And after this, we'll look at some of the and now I just want to photos on like we did last time. But yeah, let's start with the rotation of my head.
I feel like I've done a lot of talking, so I don't want to add too much commentary to these photos. I try to get the lighting and the angles the same. I actually do two different angles that are super similar. One that's directly on top and then one slightly lean forward. But still things look a little inconsistent. Some of the older photos look better, but I think today is actually the best state of my hair. But it is what it is. I'm going to keep working on it and hopefully I'll get better progress photos for you guys. And now I just want to focus on August and February since they seem to be kind of similar matched. And I want to do a little pan, zoom and pan. And then I'm going to then compare them side by side just so we can see the difference. And I believe we are looking at Okay, so yeah, this one right here is the August one, and then the one on the right is the February one. And, you know, I don't know if it's the lighting or not, <laughs> it's, it's really tricky, but, you know, at least you have this, at least you have some kind of reference, guys. Hey, thanks for watching to the very end. I'm going to have the second part of this video up soon. I just wanted to get this video out soon as possible just because it's been delayed and delayed and I don't want it to just come out in March or anything like that. The second part of this video is already recorded and edited for the most part. It's just going to be about side effects and this also kind of keeps the content nice and bite sized so you can either you know look at the progress photos or just hear about the side effects. I don't want to waste anyone's time with like super long videos just to kind of reach monetization and whatnot even though part of the reason why I'm separating the videos is for monetization. So thanks again for sticking around. Uh, like the video if you liked it and subscribe and click the notification bell if you want to be notified when the next video comes out. It'll be soon. Thanks again for watching guys. Have a wonderful day.